Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. Today I'm just filming a more informal video, kind of just like an FYI update kind of thing. I just kind of want to address some emails and comments that I have been getting. No, this is not another reading hate comments video. I just want to answer a few questions, I guess. Basically, I just want to talk about why I'm not only uploading about cancer related things. I've had a few people email me, comment on my videos, post, whatever, and they just basically tell me, I miss your cancer updates, when are you posting another one, or just stuff like that. I had one person tell me that I should like stick to what I'm good at, and that's cancer videos, people are unsubscribing because I'm not posting about cancer, blah 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 blah. And that might be true. Um, I went on a little hiatus and I just posted Cancer Vlog 6 a few days ago, I think. But before that, I had not posted one for a while and basically I'm just going to tell you why. So the only thing that I had written down about this video, like kind of notes wise, was I just wanted to like say that I am more than cancer, I am more than a disease, meaning that there is just more to me than cancer. <laughs> Before I had uploaded my first cancer vlog, and if you're like an OG when I had like 20 subscribers, you know that I loved makeup and fashion, and I have privated some of those videos because they're super cringy. But I have three makeup videos, uh, I just held up two, three makeup videos left, and I don't know, that's just what I really enjoyed, that's what I loved, that's why I started YouTube, because I saw all these beauty gurus, and I'm like, I am going to be one one day. <laughs> And no, that didn't happen, but that's just what I posted. When everything went down back in May, April, when I first got diagnosed, obviously it was rough. And I had watched girls like Sophia, Team Ellie, Mary Dalton, just these other girls who had been going through a sarcoma at a very young age. And I was just like, wow, like this is such a great support system, like seeing all the people that in the comments and on their... Instagrams and stuff that just really supported them and helped them get through it and just a way to share my story I was like wow I really want to do this so I did it and I don't regret it at all it was one of the best decisions I have ever made you guys have kept me sane pretty much like when I get bored laying in bed because crippled life um I don't know if that was offensive I don't know people get offended over weird things I read your comments when I'm bored, I, all the sweet messages you guys leave me, you guys are really just there for me when I feel like some of my real life friends weren't. So that was just, yeah, it was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made. But when I first uploaded that video, I also didn't want to lose what I loved because I don't like want to focus just on cancer because that's not what my life entirely consists of. Cancer hasn't completely consumed my life. Well, it did over the summer. But now I'm doing normal people things, I guess. I'm going to school, I'm hanging out with friends. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not back to normal whatsoever, but I can do things that most teenagers would do now. And my hospital visits haven't been as frequent. I'm not going twice a week, every week, like things like that, I go still way too much, more than a normal person should. They're just not as frequent, so there's not always stuff to update on. And I still want to post content for you guys because I know there are people on my channel that are here for me in general, not just cancer me, you know? I still want to put content out there and I want to do what I love. I've, I've said what I loved so many times, but so I think you get the gist, fashion, beauty, whatever that kind of stuff, vlogging. So I want to keep doing that and when there is something to update you guys about regarding my health, then I'll update you guys. But I don't want to make a video about nothing. So I don't want to be like, oh my god, I went to the doctor today and they did this, this, and this when it's really nothing. Or my last cancer vlog basically said the same thing because for the past couple of months, my visits down there have been basically the same thing over and over and over again. So it's not really exciting or new or eventful. It's just what I gotta do. So there's just really nothing to update on. And in reality, my cancer is slower than some other people on YouTube's cancers are. I don't know if that was cor correct grammar. Like, I cannot speak. I'm so tired. But whatever. My cancer is slower than other people's on YouTube. <laughs> so girls like Sophia, her cancer is a little bit 
well, kind of a lot a bit more rapid than mine. I'm pretty sure Team Ellie is in remission now, which is amazing, and I'm so proud of her. So, there's just like the reality is there isn't much to say about it at the moment. But in times like the first week of October, I have like a billion scans. So, of course, I'm going to update you guys on that. Like, my cancer journey is definitely not over. It's just slower than other people's. So, <laughs> I don't really know how this, is, this video is going to turn out, honestly. My puppy's in here, too, so I'm sorry if you hear her whimper. I totally forgot what I was going to say. For all of you that are just here for cancer, don't unsubscribe yet because the journey is definitely not over. It's just going to be less frequent than it was in the summer, if you get what I'm saying. But for those who are still here for me in general, content about getting to know me and what I do on the daily, basically, it will be coming soon. But yeah, I just want to make everyone happy and I know that's impossible and so it's been kind of like weighing me down a little bit. Hold on, I have to grab her. Say hi to the baby! Yeah, I don't know, I just, I've been trying to make everyone happy and I know that's not gonna work. I don't really even know what it's what to say anymore. I am more than a disease. I am more than cancer. There's so much more to me. And there's just more to share about my life than hospital visits. So I don't know how this video is going to go over for all of you guys, but I hope you take it well. <laughs> so I'm just going to leave all the rambling at that. I'm just, maybe I'll talk about this more on Instagram or Twitter or something. I My mind is just pfft, right now. Like I can't. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure to like it. If you didn't like it, I guess dislike. I don't know. Also, comment whatever you want. I just, I just want to talk to you guys. I, you know, tell me how cute my puppy is because, oh my god, she is so freaking cute. Also, subscribe and hit that little bell so you can see more of me and my baby. But it's very important to um, hit that bell because you know you want notifications every time I upload. I just know you do. Don't lie to yourself. Also, follow my other social media. The links will be down below or at the end of the video. I'm a new muser and Snapchatter, so go follow me, add me, do what you gotta do so we can stay connected. And I think I self promoted enough for this video, so bye guys.